to, but this cake's from Asda. Sorry to interrupt the video already, but I realised I'd not filmed an intro for this video, so I thought I'd just come in quickly just to say a bit about what it's about. So basically, I'm trying to redecorate a £5 Asda cake. So I've basically set myself a challenge to see if I could do better than the store-bought one, but I don't think it turned out too well, but I'll let you be the judge of that. Okay, enjoy! I think it was like £5.56, something like that, and it's called the Mega Madeira Party Cake. I don't think this one actually, as you can see, look. It's got like this buttercream fondant on top. I'll actually probably use this fondant once I take it off to do a crumb coat, to crumb coat the cake. So for now, I'm just going to scra scrape it off. As you can see, it's got these little smarties on and these stars. I know I'm redecorating the cake, but it actually might look better like this because it's actually quite cute. And I thought, I also thought the cake was going to be a lot bigger, so I was going to use these plates, these bowls, sorry. I've got two of these. This is like the, mo the medium size, and then there's a smaller size. And I was going to, I thought when I, well, when I thought the cake was bigger, my plan was do this as one tier in the cake and then with the smaller one cut out another tier to go on top but obviously like you can see I don't know if you can see in the camera to be fair but it's actually almost the same size as the cake so and that's the medium one it wasn't even a large bowl so I don't think we're going to be able to get two tiers out of that so look at the mess inside it's got like this sponge not sponge, jam, and more buttercream probably. Okay, so I'm just gonna start by taking off the buttercream. You know what, I should have took the stars off first because now how am I going to crumb coat, crumb coat, oh my goodness, now how am I going to crumb coat with that, I don't know because I've just took it off with the smarties and the stars. Right, so let's take those off, get those out. Just trying to pick up as much of those little stars and smarties as I can so that we don't get that mixed in when we reuse this fondant for our crumb coat. So I'm just going to use the rest of the fondant that I've saved separate from the stars and the smarties and I'm just going to use this to coat the entire cake with the thinnest layer possible. No, I've got buttercream in my hair. <laughs> Let's just ignore that. I'm just going to do a thin coat all around the coat. Coat? No, it's not a coat. I'm going to do a thin coat of this buttercream all around the cake. Because I said left some on top, as you can see. And it was only quite, oops, it was quite a thin layer to begin with, so that's okay. I think 
I only really needed to do this with a cake if I was actually carving it out. Like if I was going to do two tiers, like the original plan. And it's to, to sort of like stick it all together, like the glue of the cake if you will. I think that's what a crumb coat is for. Um, I'm not sure, I just see on all these videos that I'm supposed to do a crumb coat first. But I don't know for sure, so I'm just going to do the crumb coat anyway. See what I mean? Just so that I've followed the rules. And then that way nothing can go wrong is how I like to think in my mind. It almost smells like a cheesecake. What is Madeira? I don't actually know what Madeira is. Is that really stupid? I don't know. Well, I am pretty stupid. But this definitely smells like full on cheesecake. Wow. Look at that masterpiece. I've literally just taken a really cute cake and destroyed it. That's how we roll. Right, so now, I think that is completely covered. So I'm just gonna put this in the freezer. So that I can take it out and then do our base. Okay. Okay, so now I've got my blue icing for the base of the cake, then we've got this pink icing for the roses that I want to do. You'll see in a minute, it'll all come together. The green one for the leaf, leaves, leaves, and then this darker pink, I don't know if you can tell. Okay, so this is the darker pink. It's, oh no, right, so we've got this darker pink, which is gonna be like polka dots on the cake. And you can tell I've had too much coffee because I'm totally shaking. We've got this, this pale pink for the flowers. And then this was the darkest green that I had, but this is for the leaf. leaves. Right, so. That was the darker pink, that was the paler pink, and that was the blue for the base, and that's the green. So these are the brands, I don't know if you can see. Dr. Erka and Colour Splash. Okay, so now I'm just gonna get a knife because apparently I've lost one. Then I can cover the cake. So it's been in the freezer for a little bit, so now I can take the blue and cover the cake. So this is all buttercream fondant. Wow, this is really creamy. I'm not sure if it needed to be thicker. I don't know. And I'm scared it's going to mix in with our crumb coat. Did I say that right? Yes, I did. Thank God. Yep. Okay. You can see I've got it in my hair, but it's also starting to slightly mix in with the crumb coat. But 
So it's going to push my head right out of the way. But we don't have to worry about that too much because it is only a cream colour, not textured. Well, it is, but it's a cream colour, so hopefully we can sort of blend that in a bit easier once we go over and smooth everything over. Once we go and smooth everything. Once we go in and smooth everything over. Right, so now I'm just going to add, I'm just going to do the sides. This is my concentration phase. I did it when I did hairdressing. I do it whenever I'm doing art. Whenever I'm just really concentrating on something that I'm really enjoying, really engrossed in, then I will do that face. And I don't even know I'm doing it. At least I'm not as bad as my cousin though. She sticks out her tongue while she's doing it like this. Yeah, I did hairdressing at college for a little bit with my cousin, and it really was not for me. I was just at that stage where, you know, like, you just don't know what you want to do, but you think by 22 that you would have figured out what it is that you actually want to do and would enjoy doing. And I just didn't have a clue, and my cousin wanted to do hairdressing, and so I decided to do it with her because we're the similar age, so we went to college and we did that. She really enjoyed it. She's actually considering um, opening her own salon now. Me, on the other hand, I did not enjoy it. If I'm honest, I absolutely hated it. In fact, tell a lie, the only thing that I did actually really enjoy, and I did really enjoy, was the perming. Because to me, that was like art, so I could get a little bit more creative. So, if I find a picture, I'll, sh I'll show you. I'll add the picture and show you. Not that anyone's probably interested whatsoever, but there you go. That was like art to me. Everybody else in the class absolutely hated perming. They hated the smell of it because you know the ammonia, ammonia, yeah, ammonia smell is really strong and it's not very nice. Which I do agree with that, but. Um, But yeah, people just, the other people in the class really didn't like perming. I was the only one who enjoyed it and I think everybody thought, no, I know everybody thought I was weird. <laughs> and my cousin still mentions it today. And this was years ago now, so. And she'll still be like, Yes, I get it. I'm the weird one. So when we had clients come in to practice on in the college, I was the one that would do the perming. Okay, so I've completely covered the cake, as you can see, with the blue fondant, which I really love that blue. And that's really cool, yeah. Now I'm going to take this knife, because this is the only knife I have, which is a bread knife, because I'm not a baker. I don't have the right supplies, as you can tell. This is as good as it gets because it's quite flat, so I thought this would be perfect. And it seems to be doing the job, to be fair, so to be fair to me. I think I spoke too soon. I'm creating a mess. <laughs> yeah. This is what I do. I get an idea in my head and then I decide... I want to do it even though I'm not good at it and I see all the professionals online and then I have high expectations thinking I could do that. Nope. Oh my. Just 
totally hacked the cake. Okay, I think that's the best that I'm going to get it. Which looks pretty bad, as you can see. <sighs> but mainly, it's okay, because mainly what I wanted to make this cake for was so I could practice Russian piping. Okay, right. So I'm just going to start. So I'm taking the rose tip. so good. <laughs> I'm gonna go in with another one. I wonder if I'm supposed to clean the tip first then you can put one there because you can see the crumb coat through the... <gasps> don't break, don't break. Okay, not too bad. Oh man, these roses are so bad. And I'm not looking at what I'm doing. Oh no. I'm just taking that one off. I'm just taking that one off again and now I'm just gonna try that one again. I definitely think it's a lot a lot more difficult to do because I didn't make sure the consistency was thick enough. It's quite creamy whereas I think it needed to be just a little bit more thicker and drier if that makes sense. Okay now this is the difficult, most difficult part because because now I've got to go around the side and like I say because it's not thick enough it's not sticking as well as we'd want it to and so it's not sticking as well as we'd want it to so it's Wow, this is so bad. This is really bad. <laughs> okay, now I'm going to go in and add the leaves. The leaves. And let's be honest, I can't really mess this up because it's already pretty bad. <laughs> I feel like from far away, it looks kind of cute. If you could actually see what it really looks like, you'd know. It's pretty bad.
Okay, they do actually look quite cute now, those flowers. Definitely glad that I'm adding the leaves. I just really wish I'd got the consistency right with with the fondant in the first place so that I could so that I could do better detail with the roses. I have actually tried it once before and I feel like I did a lot better of a job when I did those roses before and I think it really all depends on the texture of the fondant and I think this time I totally blew it. Totally, totally blew it. And I can't remember last time if after each time I used the piping, the tip, whether I wiped it and then did it again. You know like how it has, it's sort of sticking out now. I can't remember, did I wipe it and then go in again or did I just keep going? I can't remember. But I feel like to stop every time and to wipe it with a knife or whatever would just take so much time and it's already almost one o'clock now at night so I do need to sleep at some point. I do know I want to try this again because I want to I want to find a cake that's bigger so we can do the two tiers and also I'd like to do a better job. I think I could do a better job though that's what's so frustrating is that I know I could do better because I have done better so it wasn't much better, but it was better. I feel like usually if I would do something like this that I'm really like looking forward to doing and think that I could be pretty good or at least enjoy it and then I try it and I mess up this bad, usually that would put me off and then I'd probably not want to try it again for years. But in this case, I actually do really enjoy it still, I just wish I'd got it right, so definitely want to try it again. So we definitely will come back to this, but it's just not going to be the one today. So that is with the cake, with the roses. Ignore the state of board around the cake because I'm going to be putting it on a different board. That's how we're looking so far. Now I don't know if that's a bit too much fondant to now go in with the polka dots or whether that would actually ruin it. In fact, you know what, I could try it and then I could always scrape it off. They're only tiny. Okay, so we can try one and see how we feel. Okay. I decided against that, so... The only other decorations I've got here, pink sprinkles, but I have these, which are just these little silver balls. So, thinking instead of the dark pink polka dots, which would look, I think, we'll just take away the cute flowers, the cute flower moments. So we're just gonna, oh my god, add those there, just randomly throughout the cake, okay. Okay, drop one there, boop, there, boop. Might look better if we just let them drop how they want to drop. And on my knee, apparently. So that is the finished cake. I've got to say, now that it's finished, looking at it, it doesn't actually look as bad as I thought. It's still quite cute, so. Like, if somebody made me this cake, I'd be really happy. So I've got to give me that. But yeah, I'm probably giving myself way too much credit. <laughs> it's 
so bad. <laughs> oh my. I don't know. My plan was to not let anybody know that I'd actually just bought this cake and swapped it up, but I don't think I want anyone to know that I even decorated this cake, so. <laughs> Can you imagine after doing all this and like stressing so much and staying up till like two o'clock and then I just go. <gasps> <laughs>